Today's the day. It's a pretty dreary day in Jacksonville, Florida. The skies, not so bright. We had a decent stay here last night at the Hilton Garden Inn right across the river from TIAA Bank Field. The last time that we were up at this hotel was Welcome to Rockville. RIP no longer in Jacksonville, moved over to Daytona, canceled this year due to coronavirus. Before we head over to the stadium, time for some breakfast. And it looks like this is Oscar the Grouch approved. They have a pumpkin waffle here, but I'm going Bacazo omelet. Bacazo omelet with some chorizo and bacon, and cheese and onions, potatoes, pancakes, and lobster, and beignets. And it's a beautiful day in Jacksonville. We bring the rain when we come here, that's for sure. And away we go. Do At the light turn right onto East. And it's our first time downtown Jacksonville since COVID, since at least March. The last time that we were over here actually might have been uh, for Guns N' Roses in the fall last year. So we've made our way down the TIAA bank field. My glasses are so foggy. Now if you guys follow us at all, you know we're diehard Buccaneers fans. But we do support the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buccaneers. No fans in their home games for the first two games of the season. We are Buccaneers season ticket holders, so we can't even go to the games if we wanted to. But today, Bucks, New Orleans, Jacksonville Jaguars, one of the few teams that is actually having fans in their stadium. Capacity today, 25% of normal. So normally about 65,000 fans, today about 16,000 fans. And you can see safety measures for the Jaguars starting in the parking lot. Today, every other space is taken up, spacing things out. It even goes for in between the other opposite spaces facing your vehicles. Jaguars with security in the parking lot as well to make sure that if you're tailgating, which is allowed, but it is discouraged, that you are only taking up the space in which your vehicle is located in. See these fans? They're in compliance. They're also Indianapolis Colts fans. We stayed in a hotel last night and we had a bunch of Colt fans in the hotel as well. It seems like out of the 16,000 fans that'll be here today, I think a good chunk might actually be Colts fans. Now I've got my AEW shirt on here today. If you guys don't know, AEW owned by Tony Khan, son of Shad Khan who owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. But more importantly, this building here is Daly's Place. This is an outside amphitheater, which essentially has been turned into like impact zone north for all of the AEW shows since the pandemic. We've got about 15 minutes before gates. This is what it's looking like out here. So you can see as we walk around there are folks still tailgating which by the way again just discouraged it is allowed but it is not allowed once the game starts. Once the game starts you need to pack things up otherwise they'll shut down your tailgate for you. That looks awfully neat. <laughs> Minshew Mania back this year. I think Mary has a crush on him. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> when we came here last year for a stadium tour, Nick Foles walked right past us towards the player parking. The people running the tour told us, don't even look at him. They don't want to be bothered. Just look down. Refrain from the following. See behavior that is unruly, safety measures, dangerous or illegal on in signs nature. outside the stadium, Smoking. interference with the progress of the game, more signage, throwing objects onto or entering the playing field. So they are selling tickets in pods for the game, and I think it's like two, four, and eight. Uh, we bought tickets uh, on resale actually, and it was like 60% less than face value for the tickets that we bought today. I might not be able to see anything because the glasses just fog up the entire day. And you do need to adhere to clear bags or bags that are small in size. Well, 
superheroes coming to the game. We've got a few minutes to go before gates. Smart bet would be for them to give out face masks as a door prize or door handout tonight. So we've got markers outside the gates and hand sanitizer. And we're waiting. The Jaguar. Waiting. Or other signs of alcohol impairment. And that here we go. Behavior. Interference with the progress of the game, including throwing objects on Everybody the in. And the rain is back. But we're inside. So we've made it upstairs. The Bud Light Party Zone is open to buy beverages, but not to linger. There's plenty of hand sanitizer stations. Team shops are open, but like everything is cleared out of the floor. So there's very limited stuff inside and there's spaces to maintain distancing. I was gonna say spacing. And they do not want you standing around. So we're gonna go down the walkway by where our seats are to check out what the view is gonna look like. You can see here, no standing in walkway. So these are our seats and they did give us free masks for the day with Jaguars logos. And this is the view from the cheap seats today. And the way that they do these with pods to make sure that people are distancing, they've literally zip tied the seats closed that are not supposed to be used. So you can see these seats blocked off. Those two seats are taken, these three seats empty. And then our seats are taken. And then another three seats zip tied. And the entire row behind us zip tied, as well as the row in front of us. All right, we're gonna continue looking around. Let's go in the store. Cashless payment required, sanitizer and everything. And oh, a fan. And they've got a two pack of official masks. Well, maybe not official. Oh. And more face coverings. And more face coverings. Minshew mania, even for little kids. More Minshew. Hats, 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 hats. Look at all these shirts with Minshew, but none with my boy, DJ Chalk. <laughs> no chalk in the house. In the store, they have a little sanitizer pack too. Hand sanitizer and wipes. Got some more cars showing up, but this is definitely not your normal NFL Sunday. That is for sure. Look at how empty everything is. Lots of cops. Lots of safe. The one thing I noticed that was a little crazy is that they don't even do a temperature scan on you when you come in. So when we went to NASCAR a few weeks back for the road course at Daytona, they did a temperature scan and they even gave out free bottles of hand sanitizer for guests that were coming in. But here, they're relying on you to be straightforward and honest. And so far, guests seem to be pretty compliant with masks wearing, but uh, the guest services around, a lot of them wearing them as chin straps or below the nose. And there is Mr. Softy in the house, but just medium cups and large cups, no shakes. And if you want food, you have to download the Jacksonville Jaguars app and do mobile ordering, at least for some of the sites. So these are mobile ordering only here. Here, you can do credit card or use the app to pay uh, when you're online. No cash at all in the stadium this year. Also of note, no more condiment stands when you're getting your food. And all of the utensils are pulled one at a time. And then there's a lot of smaller stands and other places that are just not open for the game at all. Duval! Back in the Bud Light party zone. Look at these tables. Mary wants one for home. Free power for your phones. And this is what we're looking at. Actually, we'll be looking at it from over there, but Right now, this is what we're looking at. They're going over on the video screen all the cleaning and preventative measures that they're doing to keep the players healthy. By the way, as of yesterday, tickets were still available for this game. It's one of the Jaguars ice boxes as prominently featured on AEW. If you stand here too long in a street fight, somebody might shove you inside of that. 
for frozen drink offerings, they have a Duval daiquiri and a Jagarita. Mary's on a quest to get another straw for my drink. But Uncle Rico is buying a margarita. And he could throw a football clear over those mountains over there. Now we're gonna get jiggy with it as we watch some punt returns. The real feel at game time is supposed to be about 100 degrees today. You do need to keep your face mask on at all times while you're sitting unless you're drinking or eating. Somebody to the side of us took theirs off and security swooped right in. The copyrighted music is so loud. NFL media heading on down. And you'll also notice like the first eight or ten rows are tarped over. That's in every NFL stadium now, keeping the fans away from the players to not infect them. Chalk in the house. Minshew taking some snaps, but you'll notice right underneath the goalpost, end racism. A lot of social messaging on the field, on the players, and in the game today. 45 minutes the game, starting to rain. But the place is filling up. Colt centering the field for practice. Hawk for the score. And so the rain starts. Out in the corridors, you can see across the way, Daly's place, there's the AEW ring currently set up on the entrance ramps. To integrating important causes vital to players and fans, such as social justice and the fight against COVID-19. The drum car is up there, I assure you. The cheerleaders, also not on the field, up there again, Jaguars not coming out for the national anthem. Of many differences, different races, different backgrounds, and different beliefs. Despite this, we are unified by our humanity, our respect for each other, our support of one another, and our common goals as teammates. We've decided to remain in the locker room during the play of Lift Every Voice and Sing at the Star Spangled Banner to continue raising awareness of racial injustice against the black community. It's just simply want to spread awareness about just being together as a country, as a nation, and uh, just, just showing love. Right there with you on that. The run to improve that run defense. The Colts have he taken the field. Today. They have a lot of fans in the stands here tonight. And wide receiver, number 17, DJ Dark Jr. Charge! And at quarterback, number 15, Gardner Minshew the second. So this is it, crowd-wise. Anyone thinking it might not be safe here? I mean, there's only a few people per each section. The kickoff banner has already fallen in the end zone. Touchdown Colts. Touchdown Colts. Hot dogs already all individually sealed. 
And the Jaguars stopped the fourth down march into the end zone. Minshew's basically running for his life almost every play. Wide receivers can't get open or there's just nobody to throw to. But positive news, they fixed the kickoff banner. The they have to laugh at the security that's telling everybody to put their masks on has their mask below their nose as well. She's standing there telling people, put your mask on. 16,000 people make a lot of noise. Interception, Jaguars. Jaguars are marching in, but by the way, up in the corner, they have red zone on on one of the screens, so you can watch other games while you're here. Touchdown, Chubb! You get an idea of how loud it is here. There's 16,000 people. Miles Jack, sit down. Lost of eight on the play. Ready to celebrate the start of the regular season with a very special surprise for this lucky Jaguars fan. What is happening here? <laughs> this lucky Jaguars. Jaguars touchdown! Jaguars. You have to wear our masks, okay? They are reminding you this is the only stadium that is hosting fans today. Keep everybody safe, so please put your mask on. All right. So Jacksonville, we're getting out of here. This was a lot of fun, but we're headed home to watch our true love, the Buccaneers. This was a really great outing until people had a little bit too much fun and then uh, it really wasn't so great towards the end. This is pretty great. All right, so a couple of final thoughts. Um, security and safety, I felt really great. There was a lot of great distancing. Yes. Um, and the fact that they had the seats zip tied, that really was awesome because there were a lot of people that were trying to move their way down and just figured they'd sit wherever they wanted to mm -hmm. and they couldn't. Uh, because they you know, obviously the seats, seats are don't move <laughs> so unless you had like you know scissors or or wire cutters or pliers or something you weren't going to have any success there. Mm -hmm. um, the giving out a mask were great too. Um, the fact that people wore them most of the time was great. Uh, the security person that was checking uh, wasn't wearing hers above her nose, and I, I am not uh, the full Karen here because I know when I sat in uh, the Daytona International track for the race. Virtually nobody was wearing anything out in the open, and everything was very spaced out here, yeah. uh, but the security wasn't wearing uh, the mask the right way when trying to enforce other people, yeah. as well as like other vendors, so like the 50-50 people and the bartenders and stuff, you know, it's kind of out the window where it's either a chin strap or it's below your nose and you might as well not wear anything at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and for some of you, you may feel like you may not need to wear anything at all, but you're in the stadium it's their That's rules required and you know. uh, that we did see towards the end as people partied a little bit too much throughout the game uh, people became more and more obstinate about wearing them and that's where we had the public address system you know kind of actually pleading with guests to follow the rules because they are the only stadium that's hosting fans today yeah um, and uh, you know this is kind of setting the example or it's a barometer test for the rest of the NFL so teams like the Buccaneers where you know our season tickets and our money for this year got held over to next year or you could have got a refund um, the fact that they are not having fans the first two home games it's because they're evaluating how other teams handle mm -hmm. the, uh, the pandemic and making sure that you could safely host fans in the stadium so yeah. but I did think most of everything overall was good. it was pretty good I mean except for come a you know, few of the real idiots that you expect at a you know a game you know yeah. Yeah, there were a couple people that were literally fighting with security to not wear one. So. And literally, they were holding a cup to their mouth saying, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking. And she's like, okay, when you're done, put the cup down. And he's like, are you going to wait till I drink the whole thing? Because I'm not taking, you know, it was, <laughs> I just wanted to like hit him. But whatever. <laughs> so it's a few bad apples ruin everything. And then there were a few people, today was all about social justice at the stadium as well, just like at the Chiefs when they hosted um, their opening uh, game the other night people booed the fact that they stood in the center of uh, the field with the Texans in a moment of unity and people booed yeah. and people here were uh, similarly 
expressing dissatisfaction with the fact that uh, things were more video based and they weren't actually on the field and I think maybe the NFL kind of looked at things um, and tried to avoid having uh, you know large amounts of people uh, booing but certainly the people behind us um, were not uh, the most um, adjusted people <laughs> yeah um, exactly. socially uh, and so in any event Jacksonville, we're out of here. We're heading home. Buccaneers next. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.